Hello community, it's Courtney with Grand Park. Welcome to your Yoga a la Retreat. I hope that you are all doing okay out there. Uh, and today we are going to be focusing on the one, two, three, four, fifth limb of yoga um, called Pratyahara. And Pratyahara is the concept of withdrawing from external sensory overload to come into a state of being with ourselves. Um, so this is the first step to meditation. So in a lot of meditation practices, um, the idea is to close the eyes, to allow yourself space to go inside, to kind of not totally um, vacate from life, but giving ourselves space to remember what is true, to remember, remember what is whole, to remember what is real. Um, and senses, our hearing, our seeing, our being in the world, our tasting, our just being in the experience of the outside um, can deeply influence the way we feel inside. And so yogis like to carve out space to go inside so that we get to decide how we show up to the external world. So we set the tone for the way that we interact or absorb or don't absorb the external world. Um, so we're gonna be doing a practice today where we'll move physically, we'll breathe, we'll do all the stuff we usually do. But I will encourage us all to really allow ourselves the space to go inside. And I'm gonna cue um, as many times as I can remember us to close the eyes. So um, often where we look is where our mind goes. Um, and I really want us to try to feel poses and feel ourselves from the inside out instead of taking the outside and putting it into the inside. If, if that doesn't make sense, I'll be here to kind of talk us through it when we get there. So let's just start our practice by taking an intentional seat. So finding a way to be comfortable in your body. You could do this part seated in a chair. You could do this even lying down if that is the way that you feel more comfortable. But I will ask you to allow your eyes to soften close to allow yourself to come to this internal space, which can be very scary and uncomfortable to be with ourselves, right? But the better we, come, we become with knowing ourselves, with knowing our own hearts, with accepting and loving ourselves as we are, I find the better I show up when I go out into the external world with my whole self as many times as I can remember. So with your eyes closed, just start to notice your breath. So using the breath as an anchor into this moment, as an anchor into your internal body. Maybe starting to take a slight bit of control over the breath. So allowing the breath to move in and out freely. And we'll just start with a little check-in here. So checking in with your physical body today. So without judging it, shaming it, wanting it to be any different, just noticing how the body feels physically. So where is there tightness, pain, openness, maybe a hyperactivity. Just allowing it, allowing that to allow us to know where we are today, where our body is today. Checking in with the breath. So maybe the breath is informing a little bit more about how we feel. So is the breath shallow? Is the breath quick, slow, deep, light? And 
Noticing the mind. So knowing where the mind is. Is the mind here? Or is the mind somewhere else? And it's okay if you notice your mind is somewhere else. Yoga is a practice of noticing. So are you in a past thought? Are you jumping ahead to what happens after this class? And is there any way since you're already here to commit yourself, to commit your mind to being here in this practice of pratyahara, of withdrawing from all that stuff to come in to ourselves, to this moment, to our breath, to our heart. And let's go ahead and check in with the heart. So just anchoring your breath in your heart. What's in your heart right now? Is there an emotion there, a feeling? Is there like a physical tightness? an openness, a softness, a contraction. And we're gonna use this information to take care of us today. So just knowing how you are, like you would hold a friend's heart. How is your heart? And then keeping your eyes closed if possible, let's come to hands and knees. So making your way onto hands and knees. Of course, if you're lying down or in a chair, I would recommend opening your eyes and then finding your way to hands and knees. So again, we're gonna try to feel the poses from the inside today. So pressing into your knuckles, knees are stacked underneath your hips, wrists are stacked underneath your shoulders, lift up out of your shoulders, tops of the feet are on the earth, head is in line with your spine. With your eyes closed, let your inhale come in, let your belly drop. As you exhale, curl in your spine, nose comes towards your belly button, release your head. Inhale, belly drops, heart rises. Exhale, curl in your spine, nose goes towards belly button. Two more times. Inhale, belly drops, heart rises. Exhale, curl in your spine, nose comes towards belly button, release your head. Inhale, belly drops, heart rises. Exhale, curl everything up and in. From here, if you can keep your eyes closed, please do. Find your neutral spine. And then let's take the knees as wide as the mat. If you don't have a mat, a little bit wider than your hips. Big toes come together to touch. Sink your hips back for your heels and then offer your forehead down. So if the forehead doesn't naturally touch, you could stack your fists and let your forehead rest on your fists. If your hips are not comfortable in this position, I recommend grabbing a pillow and allowing your seat to rest down on a pillow. So eyes are soft or closed, settling in and allowing, your allowing yourself to go inward here. Maybe choosing a breath. So if you practice ujjayi breathing, that kind of constricted throat breath, you can start to bring that in now. If you're curious what that is, it's an internal breath in and out of the nose. It sounds like the ocean and it's almost like the breath is traveling up and down the throat. 
And if that doesn't feel right to you or it's confusing, just breathing full breaths in and out of your nose. Exhales match the length of the inhale. From here, with the eyes either still closed or soft, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. So feeling in to what this shape feels like and honoring the body here. So probably bending your knees a lot, maybe a little bit. If the low back is achy today, maybe taking your feet wider. If your shoulders are tight today, maybe taking the hands wider than the shoulders. Let your head go. Let your breath flow in. And then maybe pedaling out the feet. Maybe shaking the head side to side, yes and no. Allowing yourself this space to go inside, to feel your body in space, to feel the breath moving through. From here, walking your hands back for your feet, finding yourself into a forward fold. I stay soft or close. Bending your knees as much as the backs of the legs need, either grabbing opposite elbow or letting fingertips dangle. Let your head go. We're going to come to three halfway lifts. If it feels okay to have the eyes closed, maybe play with that. If that feels like you might get unbalanced, you can just take like a soft, almost like a blinky gaze. Hands come to shins, inhale, halfway lift, heart reaches forward, exhale, release into your fold, let your head go, inhale, hands on shins, heart reaches forward, flat-ish back, exhale, forward fold, release your head, inhale, halfway lift, Flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Press into your feet, either with eyes closed or a soft gaze. Start to roll yourself up to stand. And then here, allow your eyes to open. Allow yourself to find a gaze point. Maybe notice if you're already feeling the effects of this withdrawing from the external world. So in my experience, I feel more grounded, more connected to the moment, more kind of in connection with everything around me. Maybe see how you feel here. And I'm going to continue to encourage us to either close the eyes or soften the gaze at any point when maybe you're not moving a whole lot, just to keep things internal. So hands come out to the side, shoulders away from your ears, mountain pose, maybe softening your eyes closed here. We're going to come into our sun A salutations. If you want to play with a little challenge with keeping your eyes closed, make sure your feet are rooted to the earth. So maybe spreading your toes wide, setting those down, gluing your feet to the floor. Let's connect our breath with movement. So as you exhale, let everything soften. Inhale, arms rise tall. Maybe your closed eyes look up. Exhale, forward fold, release your head. Feet are the anchor here. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, release your head. Inhale, draw your arms. Maybe the eyes stay closed. Maybe the eyes closed, look up. Exhale, hands go into the heart. We're going to do it two more times, maybe with the eyes closed. If that does not work for you, honor that. And maybe you keep a soft gaze with the eyes open. Exhale, hands come to the sides. Inhale, arms go tall. 
Exhale, fold the body in half, release your head. Feet are glued to earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms draw tall to the sky. Exhale, hands go into the heart. Inhale, arms go tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms go tall. Keep the arms up. Maybe keep the gaze soft or eyes closed. Grab your right wrist with your left hand, ground down into your right foot, and then from the heel of your right foot, reach your arms up and over towards the left. So getting into the right side body, shoulders melt down, breath flows through, feeling this pose from the inside out. Coming back to center, ground down into your left foot, your left heel, grab your left wrist with your right hand. From your left heel, reach your arms up and over to the right. So feeling into the left side body. Lots of breath. Pressing into your feet, come back to center, tap your fingertips to your shoulders, maybe with the eyes closed or eyes soft. Let's roll out the shoulders here. So elbows come in and up, around and down. And see if you can feel your shoulders from the inside. So sometimes it helps to soften the eyes or to take this pratyahara practice to make sure that we're honoring the body as we move. So not kind of doing, looking around even at me or in a class at other people being like, oh, that's what it should look like. Can you let it feel like what it should feel like in your body so that you get the full benefits for you? And then elbows come back and around and down From here, hands come down to the side. We'll move a little bit more now. So we're gonna try to keep the gaze closed or soft, but of course, I don't want anyone falling. So if you need to open your eyes at any point, please allow yourself that. So here, let your exhale come out. Inhale, draw your arms tall to the sky. Exhale, melt your heart forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down, make your way to plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps for right hand. We're staying up on the ball of the back foot to start. Take your hands to the sides like wings and then pressing into your feet, make your way up to crescent lunge, maybe with your eyes closed, maybe with your eyes soft. So feeling your feet as your anchor, feeling the breath moving through, feeling the shape from the inside. Take your hands to your hips, take your back foot to warrior one, so 45 degree angle. Interlace your hands at the base of your spine. Inhale, rise your heart. Maybe extend your arms straight-ish and then fold your heart inside your right leg. Take your head and release it down. Again, you can open your eyes but see if you can keep your gaze soft or maybe you open your eyes to get into the pose and then soften your eyes closed to feel into the pose. 
Take one more full inhale. One more full exhale. Press into your feet. Inhale, rise it up, warrior one. Exhale, hands go down. Make your way back to plank. Downward facing dog. Other side. So stepping your left foot for your left hand, staying up on the ball of the back foot. Remember, you can always tap your right knee down. Arms come to the side like wings. Feel your feet underneath you. Feel your breath moving through. The next time you inhale, press into your feet. Make your way up to your crescent lunge. Or you can open your eyes, find the pose, and then soften the eyes closed. Or if that doesn't work for you, just keep a soft gaze that lets you stay internal. It might help to keep your gaze if your eyes are open down. Flatten your back foot to a 45, so we're in warrior one. Interlace your hands, opposite thumb on top. Lengthen your arms back towards your heel, lift your heart, and then fold your heart inside your left leg. Let your head go. Maybe eyes closed or at least soften the gaze here. Find your breath. As you inhale, press into your feet, rise up, warrior one. Hands go down to frame your foot, plank to downward facing dog. Let's take a child's pose. So knees come wide, big toes come to touch, sink your hips back, melt your heart forward, forehead either on the mat or stacked fists. We're gonna come into that one more time. And we're gonna try to move from the inside. Making your way back to downward facing dog. Eyes are closed or gaze is soft. As you inhale, step your right foot for your right hand, staying up on the ball of the back foot. So establish your anchor, what's touching the earth. So the feet ground down, arms come to the side like wings. Maybe gaze is closed, maybe eyes are soft. As you inhale, press into your feet, rise yourself up, warrior one. Take a breath or two here. You can tap your left knee down if you need that support today. And then back foot comes down to warrior one leg. Find an interlace behind your spine, puff up your chest, send your interlace back. Arms don't have to be straight. And then melt your heart inside your right knee. Eyes closed or gaze super soft. Let your head go. Let the breath flow in. Feel this pose from the inside. As you inhale, back up to warrior one. As you exhale, hands go down, plank to downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left foot steps, back foot stays as it is, crescent lunge. So arms come to the side, ground down into your feet. When you feel the stability of the feet, Press into the feet to inhale yourself up to crescent lunge. How's your breath? Right knee can tap down if you need. Right foot spins flat, warrior one leg. Find an interlace at the base of your spine other thumb on top, send your interlace back, lift up in your heart, and then melt your heart inside your left leg. Let your head go. Let the breath come in, feeling this pose from the inside. As 
as you inhale, press into your feet, rise up, warrior one. As you exhale, hands go down, plank to your downward facing dog. If you need a child's pose, please take it. Walking your hands back for your feet. Remember, you can stay resting. You can rest the rest of class if you need. Grounding down into your feet, start to roll yourself up to a stand. Mountain pose with your eyes closed or soft. Allow your eyes to open for this part. So we're gonna come into tree, our balance pose, and then we're gonna add the option to soften the eyes closed. So balance is probably gonna be tricky with the eyes closed. In my experience, it almost always is. We'll see how it is today. I'm gonna to recommend coming to a wall today just to give yourself that space to have an extra support. So we'll start on the left side today. And we're gonna set up the pose and then we're gonna have the option to soften the eyes. So hands come to your hips, ground down into your left foot, left thigh reaches back slightly. From here, find a gaze point at eye level, something that's not moving. Steady your relationship with your gaze point. And then the left, or sorry, right foot's gonna get light. Take your right foot to your left ankle here. Maybe the hand, probably the hand comes to a wall. From here, I'm gonna recommend most of us stay here today. If you're feeling ambitious and the balance is feeling good, you can take your foot to the calf or the inner thigh, but we're trying something new today. So maybe start soft and you can always build up from there. So from here, I'm going to ask you to soften your eyes closed, to really feel whatever is touching the earth or the wall, and allow that to be your anchor. Take a couple more breaths wherever you are. If you want to take an arm variation, you may. As you exhale, release. Really nice. We're going to come to the other side. So if you're using the wall, have the wall at the right side of your body. We'll ground down into the right foot. Right thigh presses back slightly. Hands come to your hips. Find your gaze point to start. So something at eye level that's not moving. Left foot comes in like a little kickstand at the ankle. Take your right hand to a wall if you're using that. If you want to take the foot into the calf or the inner thigh, you may. And then once you feel yourself stable, once you really feel your right foot connected to the earth, close your eyes. Allow what is, whatever is touching earth or the wall to be what grounds you. Allowing the breath to move through freely. If you want to take your arms into a different variation, of course you may. And then as you exhale, open your eyes and release. So how was that? Was that like an extra little something something? All right, let's find our way down to the earth. We're gonna do a series of folds. Forward folds are very introspective. They allow us to have this experience of turning inward. So you're first gonna start by finding a straddle seated and a straddle where you can keep your toes facing up to the sky. So not forcing anything in the legs. Remember, you can always bend the knees, you can put blankets or pillows as a support to draw the floor closer to you here. So find a lot of lift in your heart, soften your eyes closed here, feel into the backs of your legs. 
And if the backs of the legs are already feeling tight and constricted, maybe stay here. And especially use those exhales to soften and release. If the breath is flowing freely and you'd like to start to fold forward, please keep your heart lifting up the spine long as you start to walk yourself forward any amount. So finding that place where we can really feel into the backs of the legs, but we can really breathe with, with it and maybe release something out of it. Allow your chin to fall in towards your chest. Eyes are closed. And we'll take five full breaths here. So let your exhale out. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale one. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale two. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale three. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale four. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale five. Maybe keeping your eyes closed, walk yourself back up if you're folded. From here, we're gonna draw the soles of the feet towards each other. And I want you to decide here if you'd like to get a stretch for your inner thighs, you'll pull your feet in as close as feels okay, where there's not a whole lot of constriction where you can breathe. If you're more interested in stretching the outer hips, you'll take your feet out slightly. So taking the feet away, we'll get into the outer hips. So deciding where you wanna be to today, find lift in your heart, soften your eyes close. And then deciding if you even need to fold forward. So with the eyes closed, it can be an act of bowing or withdrawing or going inward. We don't actually physically have to fold. If folding forward would deepen your connection to this pose and allow more space to be had, please go for it. We'll take a five breaths into the hips. So let your exhale come out. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale one. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale two. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, three. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, four. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale five. If you're folded, lift yourself up on your next inhale. Soften your eyes open. From here, we'll extend both legs out. So we're gonna come into an L shape. Remember, you can bend your knees any amount. You can put pillows, blankets underneath the backs of your thighs to draw the earth closer. From here, this time, I'm gonna ask you to find length in your spine, but this time just allow your spine to round, allow yourself to fully go inside. 
to fully release in whatever way feels good in your back, in your thighs, in the backs of your legs. So maybe taking your hands around your legs somewhere, around your feet or out to the side. Definitely soften your eyes closed. If it's helpful, maybe imagine some heavy rocks being placed on your shoulders to allow you to really soften in here. And then let your exhale come out through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, one. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, two. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, three. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, four. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale, five. Use your next inhale to draw you up. And then for, instead of taking Shavasana today, I'm going to cue a seated meditation. If you really want to take Shavasana on your back, please don't let me stop you. But if you're open to maybe something a little different today, coming to find a seat, coming to soften the eyes closed, and then taking a position with your hands that allows you to feel like you are here. So maybe palms up, maybe palms down, maybe palms in the lap. And we're gonna start here by just taking a few breaths together. So let your exhale come all the way out. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale. Through your nose, inhale. Through your nose, exhale. And then allowing the breath to fill back in however it wants. I'll ask us all to place our hands onto the heart. And then with your hands on your heart, I want to ask you all the following question. What in your heart do you know to be true? Maybe taking a couple breaths into whatever's coming up, so not overthinking it, just allowing whatever flutters to mind to flutter to mind. And then if the phrase that came up is really short, you can work with that for this next exercise. If you said kind of a sentence to yourself, I want you to just pluck a word from that. So plucking a word like love or joy or peace. And we're just gonna finish together today by taking a couple breaths into that word. So palms can stay at the heart or palms can come down to comfortably rest in the lap. Let your exhale come out. Inhale into this word or short phrase. Exhale anything unlike it. Inhale into this word or phrase. 
Exhale, anything unlike it. One more time. Inhale into this word or phrase. Exhale, anything unlike it. Let the breath move back in. If your hands are still at the heart, soften them down into the lap. And here, I want you to just notice the way that you feel. So do you feel a greater sense of yourself, of this moment? Do you feel more connected to the self or, move, or this moment. And I would like to encourage us all as we move through the rest of the day to try to move from this internal place instead of allowing the external world to inform the way that we feel, the way that we kind of take things on. So can we move through the world like this? as many times as we can remember or is possible. Thank you all so much for being here for this practice for Pratyahara, this withdrawing from the external world to go inside to know what's true in our hearts. I wish you all a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you, Grand Park, always, always for having us. If you're new, welcome. We're here on Grand Park social media channels every Wednesday and Friday from 12.15 to 1 p.m. I'd love to see you anytime you can make it. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you again really soon.